Okay, uh, thanks. My name is Travis Wheeler. Uh, I'm an associate professor, uh, primarily housed in the Department of Pharmacy Practice and Science, but with affiliations across a number of other departments that uh, that begin to sound an awful lot like somebody who thinks about computing, uh, computer science, data science, and school of information, uh, and and also affiliated with the genetics uh, program and and several others. I'm going to follow a format that's similar to the one that uh, that Bonnie uh, just followed in terms of describing who I am, what my research interests are, and and opportunities for collaboration. I'm going to keep it at a pretty um, high level. The one thing I want to say is um, I'm sorry that I can't be there in person, but you're welcome for not being there in person. I am very sick, and it's amazing that I can talk right now. Um, I, I run a pretty large research group. These are folks in the group, uh, some of whom affiliate with things that I'll talk about uh, going forward. Um, in addition to running my own research group, I'm the director of the University of Arizona Health Sciences Bioinformatics Group, which is a group of informaticians on the, the U of A uh, uh, Health Sciences campus uh, with a capacity building mission, right? So that means that they uh, collaborate on projects across uh, campus, in particular in that within health sciences that are in need of bioinformatics expertise. These are people who uh, who have expertise in bringing computers to bear on analysis projects, which should sound like something that we all care about. Uh, and they aid in analysis of existing data sets, help uh, develop plans for new analyses, uh, and in general serve in that capacity building mission. Uh, I'm also uh, 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 associated with the All of Us Research Program. Uh, many of you may be familiar with that. It's uh, it's in some way analogous to, uh, to it, it provides data that's in some way analogous to, to the data that, that's available within the VA system, uh, perhaps on a smaller scale in some ways, but a wider scale in others. Uh, it involves uh, uh, genomic data uh, and electronic health records for currently a little under half a million people, but with the numbers scaling up with a target of a million, with a with a focus on uh, on population diversity, ethnic diversity, uh, and my team provides some informatic support on, among other things, on seed grant projects, uh, and uh, research interests. Uh, I would describe myself and my group in in general as a as a collection of of generalist computational biologists. Uh, we develop algorithms and machine learning or artificial intelligence uh, fundamental approaches and uh, engage in serious software engineering. And if you, I guess my video in the upper right corner shows, we also build some visualization tools along the way. A lot of that focuses on genomic analysis. We've got a, a collection of tools that are um, really heavily used in the realm of analyzing or annotating what's in genomes uh, or microbiomes, the bacterial uh, uh, collections uh, in uh, in a variety of environments, and I won't talk about any of the details of those. But there are a lot of algorithms and machine learning approaches that uh, that are at play there. We're also involved in projects uh, related to the field of drug discovery. So you've got a protein, you'd like to identify a drug that will uh, work effectively with it. And we built uh, a a, a tool system and infrastructure that can scan uh, collections of billions of candidate molecules to identify uh, promising candidates. And we're in the midst of building a petabyte scale, tens or hundreds of petabyte scale uh, collection uh, or a repository for um, atom level simulations uh, of proteins and the drugs that they bind. It's called MD uh, repo, MD repository. Uh, and uh, on the side, I don't know if this will show up in anybody's field of interest, but we we engage in uh, in animal tracking and behavior classification and recorded videos, uh, which, although it sounds a lot different from the other two things, ends up boiling down to the same kind of statistical modeling and algorithm development. Uh, we have uh, begun relatively recently getting involved in this area of health outcomes or, 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 or um, precision medicine uh, in the context of association studies. So I'm, I've got a generic picture of a genome-wide association study that identifies particular regions along a, a genome that are appear to be associated with a particular phenotype. Uh, and 
those are pretty effective at identifying individual positions, but it may not find uh, uh, pleiotropic effects, the, the the combined effects that uh, that may inform about either health risks or uh, or uh, or potential beneficial outcomes, and in particular, may not uh, effectively blend both genomic and uh, healthcare record uh, data. And we're building machine learning approaches to be able to uh, to extract lar more complex combinatorics that are otherwise very difficult to to cull out of the data. Um, the open to collaboration slide. So I'm not going to name specific things. Uh, I think in this kind of a talk is a flirtation of sorts. I'm trying to convince you in this speed date that you want to talk to me. I'm a generalist and I love talking about research opportunities. Uh, but what kind of research opportunities matters, right? So in particular, we are useful at and interested in uh, cases where there are current analysis methods. There's software that does some kind of analysis that's either inaccurate, it doesn't really work as well as you wish it did, or it's too slow, it can't handle the kind of the scale of data that you've got. It works for a thousand patients, but it doesn't work for a million. Um, we develop algorithms and statistical models uh, to be able to extract data out of, uh, extract signal out of data and to do it very quickly. Uh, and often our best uh, utility is when we are taking methods that exist already and they just need to be improved a lot. Uh, so if you've got that kind of a scenario, we're a great group to be talking to. Um, uh, also identifying if you've got existing tools that that do a thing pretty well, but they're missing out on some particular offshoot of the analysis and I'm especially interested in um, in documenting and understanding the impact of uncertainty uh, in labeling or classification or identification of things. I think uncertainty uh, or lack of uh, knowledge of or prediction of the confidence of of analysis is really missing in a lot of of analyses, and it's super important to uh, to to predicting how things are going to turn out. We work well with huge data sets. And this is the last collection of bullet points. This is what we do. We build algorithms, we build AI or machine learning methods, all in open source software. Uh, we, and as I mentioned in the previous slide, we build complex data repositories, these sort of petabyte scale uh, repositories I've got plenty of familiarity with as well. And so uh, between building and interacting with them in the context of all of us data, uh, I am, uh, uh, aware of the issues that arise in the kind of data set that uh, data sets that exist at VA. And I'm pretty excited about uh, finding the right niche to be able to work with you to, to improve analysis of those data. Thanks.